Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another video and in this video I want to show you some improvements that I made regarding this automatic dimension script. There are a couple of requirements. First requirement uh, is to uh, modify the script in a way that the script can work uh, with uh, Revit link files. So uh, the requirement is that we uh, basically took all the walls uh, from uh, Revit link. If the script does not find the walls inside the Revit link, it will pick up the walls from the uh, project. So that is the first thing. Uh, and uh, now I did open basically the same, this Autodesk sample file, but over here I have Revit link. And in this old file, we did have uh, the walls inside the model. So all the walls in the old model are in the model. Okay, but I want to run the new script in the new file and uh, the old script in the old file just to compare uh, some other things. So first things first, we can run this new script. And this is the new script uh, and I can run uh, this new script for entire uh, view. Uh, I did try to uh, run also this old script for this old layout, but it can be that I mess something with the packages and I did um, wait up to 15 minutes uh, in order to uh, have dimension in this old layout with old script. So this new script and uh, this layout which have Revit link, we can run entire layout. So we want to uh, dimension ducts. So again, we can apply some filter. Regarding the length, uh, we want to uh, take the walls from uh, this rabbit link. At the moment, I have only one. If you have 10 uh, items, you will have in the list those uh, 10 items. And also, uh, one thing uh, which uh, gave me a lot of trouble is uh, with the client's uh, model, I did have some dimensions and I didn't see the references. And then I realized that uh, the client also have uh, in his test model, uh, some walls with demolished phase, and I did have in the view uh, applied some filter regarding the phase. So also, uh, if somebody wants to use the script in order to have a dimension with some demolished phase, you can just type the name of that phase, and this feature is now also the part of this new script. And I didn't uh, turn on the stopwatch, so now we will run again. So now I have stopwatch over here. Let's just pick uh, the same values. So, okay, we have now the time which is valid for this uh, Autodesk sample project for entire layout. Again, I did try uh, two or three times to run the same for the old script. And uh, when the time go over 15 minutes, I did just end task that entire process. But if I remember correctly, at the moment when I did build this script, and uh, when I run that for the entire layout, I think the duration uh, of the run was almost eight minutes. So anyway, it's uh, like four times faster uh, script. Of course, uh, you will see uh, in a moment, but when you run the script just for a fraction of the layout, uh, this will be like 30 seconds or something like that. That is the one part of the story. Uh, second part of the story is how many dimensions you will have after you run the script. So here we have 154 dimensions. Now I will pick one, uh, for example, plan C from this old level. And I will run the script for this uh, fraction over here. And we can compare that with the new script. 
uh, in the term of duration and accuracy just to see if there is any difference so for the old script first reference is doc second reference is wall set values Okay, so uh, one minute and let's say 38 seconds is needed for this old script. Now if we reset the counter and if we open the C segment for this new script and I will delete all dimensions which are here from uh, the running of entire layout. So I did delete all dimensions. I did call stopwatch. Now I run the script just for um, this C segment in the new script, so we can compare that with the old script. So we want to play with ducts. Our walls are in this Revit link. Run the script. Okay, I will add one second or two seconds. And I think that uh, the difference between the duration uh, will not be uh, dramatic for uh, these small uh, views in which we have, uh, I don't know, maybe 30, 40, 50 ducts. But when you have a bigger layout uh, with a lot of ducts, you will see obvious uh, difference between this old and uh, new script. So it's half the time which you need. And let's also now compare uh, the accuracy and results uh, between those two scripts. So I will close this and that. So in this um, script which uh, used the Revit link, which is the new script, I have 69 dimension and in this old script for the same view the total number of dimensions is the same that is okay now let's try to compare the quality if there is any uh, difference between those scripts so this is the this is old script this is the new script okay so uh, over here I have uh, a problem with the old script. So this is the old, yeah, this is the old script. Let's just rename it old. So over here, uh, we have a mistake in the old script. Over here, everything is okay. Okay, there is a difference over here. That is what so over here I have some dimension, which I'm not sure. Uh, this is the dimension between this duct probably and this wall. And for this duct over here, actually this new, uh, new script find that this wall is closer. Yeah, so both are let's say uh, correct but uh, different reference 645 153 622 that is okay uh, over here we have a mismatch with a new script okay uh, 3, 2, 6, 3. Okay. Uh, over here we have uh, 304 and this is actually the closest reference 
over here we have uh, let's say proper reference be because it is between the duct and the correct side of the wall but this value is bigger than this value over here okay this is okay Uh, over here this is correct this is also correct and uh, in the new script we have smaller value again and over here we this is the old script so uh, it is a reference between this wall and the duct but is uh, this is the reference between the wall and um, the wrong side of the duct so this is the closest side of the duct again um, the script will not pick this curtain uh, wall mullions because it is not category of the wall it will only make a dimension reference between the wall and the duct so over here i think again uh, this new script wins Uh, what is 290? Uh, over here, there is a wrong reference. Uh, it is the further side of the wall. Over here, inside the new script, this is okay. Again, in the old script, this is not okay. In the new script, that is okay. Again, some dimension. Uh, obviously, the problem with the old script. This seems to be okay. And also over here. So I would say that uh, this new script wins in the term of accuracy. I did find that one dimension was actually wrong. Uh, from this 69 dimension so there is again some chance for the error uh, also this old script cannot handle uh, Revit links uh, and also it cannot handle uh, demolished phase and um, duration when you run this old script uh, it's uh, long and in some cases if you have complicated uh, views probably it won't be complete but I didn't have a problem with this new script and the duration when you run this new script it's uh, from two to six times faster comparing to this old script. And basically that's it. Thank you for watching.